Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to use the new AI slides generator that was just released by Elena. It's very straightforward. It is something that you will absolutely end up using because it's gonna save you so much time. And I know a lot of people have been asking for this and it doesn't really seem to be available on a lot of tools. So Elena has added this incredible time saver and everybody's gonna love this one. So first of all, I got an email that just let me know that the slides generator was ready. If you don't subscribe to Elena or have an account, you can log in and get an account. It's free um, and you can just sign up right away. And so for me, what I'm gonna do is just show you how I installed the extension. So it's a Chrome extension, it's free. You just click install. Now I already installed it, so it doesn't look quite the same for mine. It will um, just say install on yours. Then when you go into Google Slides, if you click on extensions, you will see it under your extensions. And this is Elena AI for Google Slides. So I'm gonna click create a present presentation with Elena and I'm gonna show you there's a couple different options to choose from right away. You can make a presentation just by declaring a topic and writing a prompt, by adding a, a, a either PDF or another URL or any type of context in a document, or by having Elena search the web. So let's take each one of those one at a time. I'll just show you how it works quickly. So the first one is topic or text. So I'm going to just select um, social media influence as my topic. And then for my prompt, I will type, I said, create a slideshow on the influence of social media on teen mental health. Now I'm going to leave the number of slides just on auto. I'm not going to add an attachment or any advanced options. And I'm going to click create presentation. So it is gonna let me choose a theme. So I'll just start with, I don't know, the learning lab theme, and then I'm gonna click create presentation. So it takes about two minutes to create the presentation. And when I'm waiting for the presentation to um, be created, typically what I'm doing is I'm thinking about any additional resources that I might want to go along with my new Google slideshow, my um, presentation on this topic. So if you were to go back into Elena and you were to look at all of the different resources in Elena, you could create worksheets, you could create you know, videos with Q&A, you could create a um, flashcard set, you could cre create do now activity, you could create an exit ticket. So really, it's you could create a whole comprehensive lesson with presentation activities from start to finish using just this one tool. Okay, so let's take a look. It looks like it's preparing the slide. Okay, so here's my presentation. The first one is a blank slide. I'm gonna get rid of that. So it has a nice title, social media influence. Now, what I'm gonna show you is just like any Google slideshow, you can go in and you can change the font size. You could change the background color. You can change any of these images, the heading, the, um, the graphics. You can change anything you want. But what I really like about this is that it is going to give me an outline and then I can go in and tweak that outline based on what I wanna make sure is covered in the lesson. So intro, rise of social media, that's interesting. Some negative impacts, I like that. I'd probably add some pictures there. FOMO and comparisons, cyberbullying. These are all things that I definitely cover um, when I do my unit on social media. So body image, self-esteem, sleep deprivation. I mean, wow, addiction, dopamine, feedback loops. This is actually very uh, detailed. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of blown away actually by this because um, this particular unit that I work on with my students, we do several lessons and we break them down. So this is a really nice overview because each one of those topics, I would probably break those down into um, additional lessons. And I know many of them I already have done so. So that's example number one. What I'm gonna show you now is example number two. I'm gonna open a new presentation. And again, I'm gonna open my Elena for Google Slides extension. I'm gonna select create a new presentation with Elena. And this time I am going to use a PDF. So instead of creating a presentation for my students, I wanna create a presentation to use with my teachers. So I support teachers in my district. And um, one of the things that everybody wants to talk about is using AI um, for class assignments. 
So what I want is to create a presentation that will help teachers dis, um, have guidelines with their students on when it's acceptable to use AI or large language models and when it's not. So I'm gonna write a quick prompt. Okay, so my prompt is create a presentation outlining the appropriateness of using AI in school work for high school students. It's not the best prompt in the world. I could make it a lot cleaner and I could be a lot more detailed, but I just wanna make it generic so you can see how powerful this is. Then I'm gonna click add attachment and now I am gonna grab a PDF that I found yesterday that is, let's see, where is it? PDF. Um, it's all about, okay, AI assessment skills. This is a great PDF. It's all about, you know, it's a, it's a, like when it's appropriate, when it isn't, and everything in between. So I'm going to give it a minute to load, and then I'm just going to add that and just see what it comes up with, with just simply adding that prompt, that topic, and this PDF. Oh, and I am going to add a kind of a, Let's do a little bit of a, just a kind of simple presentation template. Okay, okay, let's see what happens. So that took about four minutes, I would say. I'm gonna actually close this little window over here and I am gonna go ahead and take a look. So this again came straight from a PDF that I uploaded. So using AI for class assignments. Ooh, interesting. Exploring appropriateness growing presence, benefits. Nice, I like these little tables. Ah, uh, this is the assessment scale, the AIAS. This is what I was actually researching yesterday. So I would probably take this, make it a little bit bigger, give it some guidelines if they're not already laid out in here. Oh yeah, they are. Ah, uh, I like this, level one, level two. Oh, this is fantastic actually. This is exactly what I wanted, level four, level five. Let's see what else. Challenges for school districts. So I would go in and probably tweak. Oh, these are some of the experts. I know, um, I think this is, uh, I know, I, know I, I can't remember his name, Dan Fitzpatrick, I think. But anyway, um, yeah, this is great. So I would go in and make some changes, but I love it. It has the different scale. It has the different um, levels of appropriateness. I would um, make a few adjustments to the images and I'd be ready to go. All right, so that's the second one. And then the final one that I'm gonna show you is how to create a presentation using the slides generator with it extracting the information from the web. So I'm gonna click extensions, go back to Elena, go back to create a presentation. And this time I'm going to select the advanced settings. So for the topic, I guess I'll do um, digital citizenship. So I, I'm going to choose this topic citizenship and I'm just gonna leave it um, prompt my prompt is gonna just be grade six and then I am gonna scroll down and now this time I am going to click web research mode so typically when you use an AI tool like Elena you're using um, the data that it's extracting from is usually from a large language model which is only up to a certain date in terms of its um, the current information that will be in the model. So this allows me to now pull research or have uh, Elena pull um, information from the web. So I am going to choose that. Now this is going to be great if you're if you want to do a topic that is you know a current event or something that there's been recent news about. So I'm going to click presentation and once again choose my presentation and let's see how it does. Okay digital citizenship. Here's an introduction online safety, digital etiquette, digital footprint. So I've, I have a nice unit on digital citizenship. It's usually um, three to four lessons and these are the different aspects. Actually, media literacy, um, privacy, social media, collaboration online, critical thinking. So the fact that this was I didn't give it any prompt. I could have gone in and, and outlined the different uh, elements that I want to make sure the lesson focuses on or the presentation focuses on, but I didn't put anything. As you saw, I just put in the topic, and this is you know just remar remarkable how many of these we um, we already do hit on that I would leave right in there, perhaps change some font, change a couple of pictures, and then I would be good. So um, that is the new and improved <laughs> Elena. Elena already has so many tools for you to choose from. It's a wonderful resource for educators. I know this one is gonna be super helpful for you. So spread the word, 
You can use Elena for free up until so many um, uses per day. They work really well with districts. We use Elena in my district, so I highly recommend checking this one out. It's going to be a game changer for you teachers. So good luck and enjoy the rest of your summer.